Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the free Paragon backup and recovery tool that you could use to back up your computer. So they have a pay for version if you want additional features uh, such as you know cloning your operating system or managing partitions and so on. Uh, but this one is free if you just want to do simple backups or actually you could do pretty decent backups with this. So we're going to show you how to do that today. So once you install it, just open it up. Okay, so we have this uh, backup from before here that we did. And you can see it's just a uh, simple backup of some files on the computer here. Uh, and then we have some options for restoring the backup, changing the settings, and so on. So now we're going to add a new backup to this one to show you how it's done. So to do that, you click on Add New Backup. And if you don't want to use the My New Backup default name, you can click the little pencil here and change this to, let's say this is our important files. So you need to pick a source. So you have the option of the entire computer or disks and volumes if you want to do that. We're just going to do files and folders for this demonstration. So we're going to pick this important files on the C drive and everything in that folder. That's what this checkbox will do. Click OK. And for destination, you click on that and we're going to back it up on this E drive. But if you don't make a folder like I did for the other backup, it'll just make this default job folder. So we're going to make a folder. So this is optional, but I suggest you do it on the on the destination. So we'll make a new folder. Okay, so now we'll go back here, cancel out so we could refresh here. And so we'll use this important files backup. So now there's the schedule. So if you want to schedule it daily, weekly, monthly on a particular event or just run it manually, we're going to do it manually. But you could schedule it, you know, every week or month, whatever you want to do. And then the type. So full backups, uh, incremental and differential. So if you don't know what these are, do a little research on them because it kind of decides what files are being backed up and what are not, you know, backing up only new files or backing up, you know, change files and so on. And then how long you want to keep it. Forever is the default. Days, number of backups until storage is full. So we're going to leave the default there. Okay, so we have our important files folder going to our E drive here into that important files backup folder. So we'll go ahead and click on backup now. So, you know, the, the length it takes to backup or length of time it takes to backup will vary depending on how many files and how big they are and so on. So this is a pretty small little test folder so it shouldn't take too long to backup. So I'll probably just uh, fast forward it until it's done here. Okay, so backup is completed, so we'll click OK. So now we'll look at our folder. So here's the folder we made to put it in. And it'll still add these job subfolders. And here's the backup files. They're PVHD files, which go along with Paragon. And I'll show you uh, where you set that. Okay, so if you go back to the job and to the options tab here, uh, the default is a Paragon image, but you could use these options as well. Uh, so it looks like maybe you could uh, make a VMware or Hyper-V or virtual PC image from your drive. So maybe we'll do a video on that and test that out. And then there's some uh, password protection options, prevent the computer from sleeping, check integrity, uh, compression, backup splitting if you want to split it up, shut down the computer, and so on. And then also from the uh, destination, you have external drives and network locations if you have those for an option. Okay, so now that we have our backup done, let's try out the restore. So we click on that. So if you have more than one backup, you could pick from that backup. And then you have the options to replace existing files, so it'll overwrite from the backup. And then don't restore files with identical names. So if you do a restore and there's already a file there, if you choose this, it's not going to overwrite those files. It'll just restore uh, files that are not there. So if you deleted something on accident, you could try this to just restore the files that are missing. And then if you want to change from the original location to a different location, just if you want to verify the uh, uh, current file with the backup file and then decide which one you want to keep, you could do that. And then when you click on here, it'll 
restore everything by default, but if you uncheck it, then you could just pick, you know, which files you want to do, and so on, that type of thing. So let's say we're going to do these two files, and we're going to change the destination. Let's just put them on the E drive for fun here. And we'll click on Restore Now. Say yes. Okay, so it popped up a folder and it made a folder with the uh, name of the job, so don't confuse that with the backup uh, job folder. You know, it just happened to put it on the same place, so it might be a little confusing. And there's the two files that we restored from the backup. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So once you poke around in a little bit, it's pretty simple to figure out how it works. Okay, so if you want to delete a job, you can just click on it and click the uh, minus sign here to remove it. And there's also some settings here. Uh, close progress dialog box automatically. Logs collector about. And then the email settings and notification settings are demo because they're in the pay for version. And then you have this V to V migration not available. They just leave it in there so you know it's there if you want to do the pay for version. And then the disks and volumes. You know, this is in here too. It's just grayed out because just to show you what you could do if you pay for it. But you could look at the properties and so on. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description so you could download the uh, backup tool and try it out for yourself and back up your files and folders and volumes and so on for free because you should be doing that uh, on a regular basis before something bad happens. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.